All right, David Harry here. Now, the other day, I put up my very first iPad Pro video to do with the cameras, and it was basically a really quick test, just testing the basics of it, just to see basically what the quality was like, and also what it was gonna be like for doing some vloggy stuff. However, during that video, I'd totally forgotten that the back of the iPad's got two lenses and two cameras on it, and I'd only done the one. So what I'm gonna do in this video is try both of the cameras on the back of it, just to do basic field of view stuff. This is mostly so we can get an idea of the ultra wide lens, because as far as Apple are concerned, it's got two lenses, one, which I would, I would call it normal as it were, that's actually, Apple referred to it as wide, which is what I'd already tested but there is an ultra wide as well. So gonna test both of them right now, give you an idea of field of view, and then I'll come back and do a little bit of a summary. Okay, so just for a quick field of view thing, and I say quick, it has just started teaming now as I've just come out. And there's a bit of thunder and lightning. Hopefully we'll get all of some of the thunder as it does this maybe. Anyways, yeah, this will give us a quick idea of exactly what the field of view was like that I was shooting the other day. Because <laughs> I didn't realise that I could have shot a wide version. How mad is that? Okay, so I won't labour the point too much on this, because obviously we're going to see this immediately, hopefully. Right, so what I'm going to do now is flip over onto the wide-angled camera. All right, so just over onto the wide lens now. Let's see what this is like. So anyways, it is very... Oh. There we go, bit of thunder for us there as well. Some Atmos as well. Oh yeah, by the way, I don't know if I've mentioned, but I'm actually using my Wireless Go and Lav as well, uh, because the combination of them is not, not just super awesome and my favorite combination. It's also the, uh, the lavalier is concealed right now. I'm not gonna touch it because I need both hands on the iPad, but also because the receiver for the Wireless Go it's got an attenuator on the output, or you can lower it down. I put it to its lowest level, and it goes in, hopefully, without any distortion at all. So this is a fantastic option. I'll do a video all about this lav system with the wireless go and the lavalier go on their own, because it is it just lends itself so well to be used through the analog input or through the USB, through the TRRS jack that I will have on it. Anyways, yet yeah, so that'll do for this. So what I'm gonna do now is a little bit of walking and talking stuff. So a little bit of a walking, talking, vloggy thing now. So what I'm gonna do is purposefully go under the shade here where these trees are. This is the bridle path next to the park. And this is part of the walk that I normally do when I kind of walk out with bits of kit, you know, cameras and mics and stuff and I'm testing them. So there's gonna be like bits of light popping through the trees and stuff. So it's gonna be interesting to see how it handles some of this exposure as the light comes in and out of the trees. But what I will do in a second, I'll just go further into the park somewhere else where it's full of light and then walk and turn around and stuff like that. Anyway, I think this clip here should give us a really good idea of how this all is. Now the only problem is I've now got to go into the park where there's, I think that if there's any kids there, they're going to be getting freaked out by some lunatic walking around. They're probably thinking, oh, look at him, he's looking at his book. What's he doing talking to his book? Okay, so now we're into one of the top fields in the park where I thought it was actually going to be sunnier. What it is, I'm shooting this stuff out of sequence, um, which is obviously common for people who shoot a lot of video. You, you don't always shoot sequentially, so... This might all be a bit of a mess because earlier on it was dead bright, but that was dead bright as I come walking in. And then I did some other takes for something else. Now, by the time I will have done the first part of this video, which is the sit down bit, the weather's probably not be very good anyway. So I don't know if, if turning around in and out of the direction of the sun will give us any ideas because the sun isn't actually blasting like it was earlier on. Okay, but nonetheless, it's just more examples of the field of view. Now, obviously, I need to look back at this stuff just to see, you know, position for the camera and all that kind of thing. Not that I'll be doing this properly ever as vlogging, although you don't know when you're out and about, you might want to pull it out quickly and just film what's in front of you. But I most certainly will definitely be doing stuff indoors. Anyway, what I'm going to do now is a couple of uh, field of view shots as well, like comparisons and splits. So I'll do that and then I'll get back off indoors and do a little bit of a summary.
Okay, so there we have it then. Unfortunately, the weather turned dreadful. So I kind of lost a lot of light and I had to go under trees and stuff like that, which isn't good for a lot of cameras, let alone the likes of tiny cameras in the likes of an iPad or a phone or something like that. However, it'll still give you a really good idea of the differences within field of view. So I'm not gonna kind of dissect this too much because anybody who's looking at stuff like this probably already knows what they're looking into and what they're looking at. So you can make up your own mind with this stuff. This literally was just some examples for you to have a look at things. I will, however, be doing a whole bunch of other stuff to do with the iPad Pro because right now I'm actually I would say I'm very, very impressed with the cameras. I do realize that it, there are certain issues with them and stuff like that. But considering that I'd bought the iPad Pro as a direct replacement from the old Air 2, and I never used the cameras on the Air 2, all of a sudden I'm seeing these cameras as a massive bonus, you know, after buying the iPad. It's been brilliant, to be honest. Also, as well, I used a microphone system there, which hopefully sounded pretty good. Um, now, that was going through the USB input, and I was using the Rode Lavalier Go and the Rode Wireless Go together. I think they're a fantastic combination, and the actually... They actually work really well with the iPad because unfortunately the iPad's input on USB-C, which would be typically TRRS, it can distort very easily. And what it is, the receiver for the, uh, the wireless go, when you drop it to its lowest level, it tends not to distort the input, which is awesome. Now I'm gonna get into that on a separate video, that particular setup, just to explain to people how it's done. I'll probably do a video just about wiring up like 3.5 millimeter microphones and such lavaliers to it, and explain the problems with the sensitivity of the input. And I will also be doing stuff to do with plugging in professional condenser microphones, such as the one that I'm on now, and your typical like one inch diaphragm studio condensers and stuff like that using USB to do it, whereby the USB interface actually does all the pre-amplification so you can sort it at the USB device and then nothing is distorted going in. It's awesome. Anyways, there'll be other videos to do with all that and some other things as well to do with this iPad Pro because I've had it only for, I think, five days now, but honestly, I'm still like a kid at Christmas with it. It's absolutely awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna dive off, but before I do that, if you check the descriptions to this video, there's gonna be links to other videos to do with the iPad and there'll be a playlist which will build up over time. Also, any kind of stuff that I buy and use with it, such as interfaces, cabling, how to plug it into the TV through like uh, HDMI and stuff like that, I'll start building up Amazon links there as well. So if you're after anything like that, again, check the links and stuff like that in the description. Okay, so without further ado, it's time to get off and play with my iPad. I'm David Harry. Thank you very much for watching this video. Take care and goodbye now. Thank <laughs> you.